Hey everybody, this is Dan with Dan's Everything Outdoors, and um, I had just done um, kind of an overview of me camping, a little bit about a tent, and did uh, a little bit of a review, and it was from the uh, One Tigris Backwoods Bungalow 2.0. Little picture I seen there of the tent. That was that's the 2.0. So the predecessor to that was the Bushcraft Bungalow. I think it was called. And this is, I think called the Orca now. This is the first one I reviewed or talked about. And I wanted to kind of compare the two differences just real quick between the differences of them. And this one is a little bit smaller on the inside. If you see, there's a, there's a tarp there. And that tarp is, I think, a 5 foot by 7 foot tarp. And it fits really nicely underneath this tent. Matter of fact, it goes back to, you can't even see it, but if you look right here, you can see it sticking out underneath this air slot. So, some differences here between the two. This one's a little bit smaller. It's more of a one-person tent, or two people uh, very tightly packed. Um, this one had the neon cordage that some people didn't like. I didn't mind it too much. Still had the cam locks on it. And it came with, I think it came with eight sticks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it came with eight of the stakes. And it needed nine. As a matter of fact, it needed eleven if you were going to stake it out from the side rather than using a ridge line. If I were to use like this, it would need 11 stakes. This one uses the same YKK zippers. High quality zippers, very nice. Um, it has, has a dual zipper here, which I need to check to see if this tent over here has a dual zipper. That's one of the features I liked about it. This one has, looks like, only a single zipper. So the new one only has a single zipper. Whereas the old one had two zippers. That was so if this was zipped down, you could actually zip this down too and kind of let some additional airflow through, depending on how you had this rain fly canopy set up. So again, you've got this, this material is a little bit lighter than the other tent is. Um, it still has a great zipper system here. The screen feels a little bit lighter. But if you can see, one of the major differences between these two tents is this one does not have a back flap for airflow. This one relies on these windows that are on the side that you basically unzip this and then you can roll it up. It has a toggle up there for rolling it up. That allows for airflow. I do like that. However, if it's raining, you're going to have to get out of your tent to get some circulation in there. And this, again, is a single walled tent, so it's going to trap a lot of condensation in it. I would say most of the time you're going to sleep with it in this configuration so you got some good airflow, or you're going to have one end go down. and one end up if you're in a rainstorm, like I did just a few nights ago. Uh, one of the complaints of this one was that the toggles here were just too small. And if you'll see, that's actually made out of a the same nylon material as a tent. So it doesn't stretch and doesn't allow that toggle. It's a little tight is what I was trying to say. My camera's not quite in focus. It's getting a little bit darker out here now. It's a lot darker than it looks on camera. So what else can I say about this? It's a little bit smaller. Material's thinner. The screen's a little bit thinner. It's still a great tent, though. It really is. It's got this neon cordage. I don't mind that. Matter of fact, I kind of prefer it in some cases because I can always put and change out paracord with like, if I come over here to this one, I can trip on that so easy. 
There it is right there. You can't even see it. But at night, it is reflective. I'll get a flashlight and show that to you. So you can't, you can't see it so good right now, but they do glow, or rather reflect in the dark. Here's a good example of it. So you can see them in the dark really well. Again, Bushcraft Bungalow 1.0. I'll call, let's call it the One Tigress Orca on their site. That's what they have it listed now. And it has, or you can look at this one, which is the Bushcraft Woodland Bungalow. Not Bushcraft, but One Tigress Woodland Bungalow 2.0. This one over here has one guy line out the back to give more headroom. It works fantastic. No complaints there. And like I said, it does have a window on either side. And it too is waterproof. We had this in a absolute downpour. All night long thunderstorm. And Mine had a couple drips coming from that place where you hang the light. This one did not have a light hanging from it, but my son was in it, and he was absolutely dry. In the morning, however, he had a bunch of water trapped between the bottom of the tent and this tarp, the same as I did on my 2.0, but he was absolutely dry on the inside, so it was 100% waterproof. And he had a very good night's dry sleep. We woke up early that morning and had gone fishing. And it was still raining. So by the time we came to take this stuff down, we just basically threw everything in a bag, wrapped everything up, and hiked back out of there. That's it. That's the kind of the comparison. I'm not sure what else to say. You got this one, a very nice looking tent. Wished I'd had it when I was younger. Definitely, as a child, or as a young teenager, this would have been the ultimate tent for me. And now I've moved up to this one. This one's got all the homey effects there. My light hanging up, my mattress hanging, sitting there, and my sleeping pillow. Which either needs to be replaced, or I need to figure out a way to make it work better. Along with my chair, my little cook set my backpack in the vestibule. This one over here also has a vestibule to keep things dry. So I think this one's about the same size. Let's take a look at it. It doesn't look like it's as big. This one looks like it's about 12 inches, whereas the new one looks like it's about 18 inches. And I'm guessing, I can get these statistics for you how long that is. I'm guessing it's about 6.8 feet long and probably about three and a half feet wide. There you have it. There's a good comparison of the two different one Tigris tents. So there you have it. I just couldn't resist since I already had this tent up for review. I plan on I'm going to be overnight in this tent tonight. Um, and I just couldn't resist setting this one up over here as well and kind of showing you the difference between the two. I had both of them here, so might as well have you take a look at them. All right. Good night, everybody.